Hey, hey y'all, so today we are coming at you with a pineapple, just a fun, quick, easy pineapple with um, oil pastels and watercolor. So I'm gonna move this off. Now I'm using watercolor paper. I like this kind right here, just a Canton XL watercolor paper. Anytime you're using watercolor paper, look down here at the, um, the number there, and I like the 140. The 90, I don't like nearly as much. All right, so we are going to start just by drawing. I'm gonna take um, the orange and lightly just kind of like here's the middle of my page I'm gonna kind of come around for the shape of the pineapple and of course it does not need to be perfect I'm not gonna finish it off up here um, and then I will quickly lay in kind of how I want the top of this to go just kind of curves nothing super fancy okay and then also very lightly i'm not pushing down hard i'm going to go ahead and do kind of the crosses this way and then this way so do some little lines here this will kind of show me where i want to place colors here in just a little bit all right so I kind of did that cross hatch down there i'm using this as an oil pastel um next up i'm going to take my pink and i know that i want to lay in some dark like on the left side like if this if you look at each triangle individually i'm going to be doing the left side of each triangle so i'll kind of do it fast but every time i'm just doing this left side and i like to kind of keep it kind of messy ish just kind of quick and fun not perfect <laughs> if you watch enough of my videos you will hear me say don't try to be perfect um because that's just not even fun so we just kind of have fun with it over here i'll kind of go on the underside again very quick easy like very expressive marks is what we are making here um really having fun not trying to color in the lines or be uh it's too precise all right so i've got that and again this is an oil pastel now when you're getting oil pastels you got to be careful because there are some oil pastels that are water soluble meaning once you put water on them they kind of dissolve and turn into watercolor we don't want that today okay in order to get this look where we can paint a watercolor on top and have this um, really bright um, color of the oil pastel coming through you do not need water soluble oil pastels you need resistant um, water resistant oil and most of them are okay most oil pastels are naturally going to resist water it's just they've come on the market with some water soluble ones so just be careful all right so now i'm just kind of doing some orange kind of in the same areas down here and then next up i'm going to do a little bit of purple too now i choose purple because i want a dark color but i don't want black i use black a lot but for this bright, fun picture, black is going to be too harsh. So I'm going to use purple instead of black. So that's kind of just a good rule of thumb. Anytime you think something needs some definition, but um, you know you kind of want to do black, but that's going to darken it up too much. The dark purple is a really good alternate color. <clears throat> Coming just kind of in some of these same places, like on the under part of the top up here just given more definition and that's about it um, now I'm going to come back in with my watercolor so I'm using this is just the artist loft brand of watercolors that you can get from Michaels like five or six dollars it's not very expensive at all and I'm gonna start laying in color now I do want there to be a lot of water on my brush because you see how I can go right on top of that and it doesn't cover it up? That's the beauty of the using the oil pastels with the watercolor because as oil pastels, they're just gonna resist the watercolor. But you wanna have a lot of water on your brush. You don't wanna be like pushing into that watercolor. You want there to be so much water that it just kind of flows on top of it, okay? If you're having to like scrape it, it could move around and and look dirty. So I just am wanting this water to flow on top of it. So I've got, making sure I've got a lot of water on my brush. That's why you see me keep going back to my water cup often. So that I've got a lot of water and it's really flowy. All right, and then up top, I'm going to use my bright green. Use a couple of different shades of the green just for fun still going to go back to my water quite often so that it flows on top of this all 
But do y'all see how quick and easy and fun this is? Okay, so all you gotta do is have the right products out and you can just play and play and play. So um, there is that. I may even come back on top, and you can do this with oil pastel, you can even come back on top of what you've already done and continue to do a little bit more definition. So I've got this pink pastel and I'm just gonna do a few more expressive marks just kind of around it just to kind of make it a little more loose and fun and free all right so if y'all decide to do it be sure to um post it on our page because we want to see so again the supplies are watercolor paper oil pastels and um a tray of watercolor so not anything too expensive grab you some supplies and start creating all right see y'all